So welcome again. This is going to be Tip Monday and I've got some exciting things to show you about Shopify, some new stuff I've just discovered. So I'm running my five-day challenge, how to launch your store and look what I've discovered. So I'm going to show you in one of my stores right here and here you can see um, add tax registration. So before when you when you launched your store, you didn't have to add your tax registration. So they've got this new little little um, icon here. And so you can add any other tax registration that you have from any other state. So right now we have um, my good friend Tiffany, gorgeous natural skincare. And she has not added her sales tax, which I will tell it. Um, so she needs to add her sales tax for Indiana. And then if you have to pay tax anywhere else, you can add your state tax registration here in this um, under, under taxes, under settings. OK, and this is very exciting because, you know, we are in the tax situation where the states are actually um, demanding sales tax from everybody. So you've got to know what your limits are, or what your thresholds are in every state. You need to do some research. If um, I actually bring in a sales tax expert, um, Amy, into the group, we haven't been chatting since COVID started, but I will bring it back into the group to talk about any new taxes that's happening, things that are changing and they're changing on a, on a monthly basis, not daily, but on a monthly basis. So I would also look up um, Shopify information. They have some great information, TaxJar, Avalara, all these guys have some great information. And then also what you need to do is check your, I need to go into my camera again, check your state, right? So, so make sure you know what taxes to pay in your state, whether you have to pay taxes um, over your shipping, on your shipping as well, because not every state is the same. And also make sure that you know the thresholds of your biggest, where, your, where most of your customers reside, because that's where you will have to start paying taxes as soon as you go over the threshold. So anyway, that's all about taxes today and something new I discovered in Shopify. I'll be back on Wednesday, hopefully, with another tip. Um, they come in all the time, so I'm going to be following up with some cool stuff that is happening for your e-commerce e store, in your e-commerce store, in Shopify. And also, I'll be mentioning new stuff happening in marketing as well. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have an absolutely splendid first day. And I definitely will here. Um, thank you.